back in the day when I picked up the game of football and when mixtapes was big. One day I was out in practice and we was kind of just doing different moves. And I said, you know what? I'm going to start spinning. I'm going to start drop step. I'm going to do this type of thing in football and see if it works. Sure enough, I was making people miss. The white was green. What's good with you? I would give you the dot, hey, but you know. It's different times now. Yeah, it's different absolutely. times now. How you living yeah. here in uh, Rona, man? Right now, I'm retired, so it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing much. It's definitely insane. You are a legend upstate. You played at Syracuse. I grew up in Texas, so I was Big 12 country, okay? okay. I didn't watch too much Big East yeah. football. Yeah. But when Vic was on, people was watching. Yeah. Do you have a memorable story at all during your time playing against Vic? Virginia Tech Cuse, Big East football. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Mike Vick, we laugh about it now. My junior year, when we played him in the Carrier Dome, it happened to be my best individual game of my entire career. High school, college pro, best game. Best game ever. I don't know what came over me, man. It got to a point where the ball would snap in slow motion. You know, I would already be moving and the ball's moving and that offensive tackle's still in the stance. He can't even move. I'm like three <laughs> steps past him. Mike ain't have a chance that game, man. How crazy was it? What numbers did you put up in that game that made Dude, it so crazy? I, I had four and a half sacks. Could have probably had six sacks that game. So I was on a whole nother planet that game. But in the end, that game was probably my most memorable game for one reason, having a great game. But the second reason is I ended up getting hurt in that game. You got hurt? I got hurt hitting him. What happened? He ducked one particular play. His helmet hit me right here in my abdomen. I ended up having a lacerated spleen uh, from that situation. So I get hurt by hitting a quarterback. <laughs> uh, so the other way around. So yeah, exactly. So now, you know, that builds up my hatred for quarterbacks even more. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, I can't hit y'all. Y'all hurting me? So nah, nah, I can't have that. You played with a lacerated spleen? Did you know that during the game? No, listen, I played the rest of the game. Didn't know I had a lacerated spleen. We played on Saturdays. On Monday, I woke up. Everything was in slow motion. My eyes was blurry. I couldn't even function. Skin was popping. All types of stuff was happening to me. The trainers, they didn't know what was wrong with me. So they had to quarantine me. I was like the first guy to get quarantined. <laughs> you know, time. Like, full circle now. <laughs> they did all types of different studies on me and they found out through CAT scans that I was bleeding internally. They start giving me antibiotics. I ended up being allergic to the penicillin. So now all of a sudden I got this lacerated spleen, I'm taking medicine that I'm allergic to, my skin is breaking out, all types of crazy stuff. Just You're bleeding hitting, internally. Bleeding internally just for hitting a quarterback. <laughs> right? It's crazy. <laughs> so how did it all get resolved? I mean, you said you're dealing with this for a couple weeks. You're well, still playing? I'm gonna rap for the rest of the year. I'm done. I'm done, done, done. I ended up losing 30, 40 pounds that junior year. 30, 40 pounds? It was crazy, man. I looked, I looked sick. I was like, 250 something to like 215. I thought I was on my way out. You thought your career was done? Done. The rest of the year, I was done. Ended up coming back in spring football, got my weight back up, and that was it. How the hell do you put back 40 pounds? Man, hey, I started eating. <laughs> <laughs> so I I'm Jamaican. So I, I, I a lot of jerk and oxtail. Yeah, a lot of oxtail, a lot of curry, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I was on. That's crazy to think that your career could have ended before you even started professionally. Oh. How do you block that out? I mean, your whole job is to hit the quarterback. So every single time you're rushing the quarterback, is that on your mind? Well, I have a hatred for quarterbacks. <laughs> <laughs> and you're supposed to have a hatred for quarterbacks if you're a guy who's going after them. When the Jets won the AFC Championship, 2009, 2007, they ended up playing us. This is when these rules start coming out, which Protective. destroyed me, which even gave me more fuel to hate them. It's a strike zone. Fourth quarter, we up two scores. I'm going out, running around the corner. It's a screen pass. I got Sanchez lined up to completely just wipe him out. I can't imagine what's going on. Something goes through my head saying, you know what? Don't hit the quarterback. It's close. You might get a penalty. You might hurt the guy. I jump over him, do a little turn, just so I don't hit him. You avoid a quarterback? I avoided him. When I land, he rolls on my ankle, mm. completely severs the ligaments in my ankle. I have a third degree high ankle spray just because I'm trying to avoid hitting a quarterback. Now I'm supposed to be out four to six weeks. This rolls in two weeks. 
I mean, probably lost Super Bowl because I was hurt. Never again am I going to avoid a quarterback. If I see one right now, I'm not getting my little. <laughs> we ain't got that? no quarterbacks on set, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No high school fake, quarterbacks. Yeah, exactly. No Pee Wee quarterbacks. If you no, play, we're good. you might get hit. We're good. Seriously. All right, cool. So, what do you think of Mark Sanchez's name now? Do let me see Mark Sanchez. <laughs> okay. Remember that time I avoided you and I had that high ankle sprain? <laughs> I'm gonna give him a little forearm shiver. <laughs> Something. Something. We ended up losing that Super Bowl, and I'm, I'm still upset about that. Was that the Saints? Yeah, to the Saints. I don't like talking about that. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> <laughs>